Hello and welcome. This short video will cover how to add a new user to Reserve Cloud. First we're going to go down into the Settings area. We'll click on the Users caret. And from there we'll go into the Manage Users link. We are going to add a new user. So we'll simply click on the New button. We'll enter a username for our user. The usernames must be unique and are typically the email address of the user. We'll put in a first name, a last name, and the password. The password, again, can be actually the username as well for first login. And they'll be prompted to change that. And I'll show you the checkbox that we'll utilize in order to make that happen. So I'm just going to cut and paste the password here as well. So we've got the username as the email address. And for first login, the password is also going to be the email address. The passcode that you see listed is used only in conjunction with our reservations module. And if used, that must be unique as well. We'll enter here the primary email address, any phone numbers, mobile phone, fax number, the time zone of our user, a title and or a department if applicable, and then a primary site. A primary site, once selected, determines which site will be first visible to the user when looking at the events or the reservations page. We also have the module that they have access to. We have all module access, or maybe it's more specific to events, or to reservations, or to memberships. So we'll simply select the module that they have access to. Next are the roles. Roles are used to determine which features in the program a user will have access to. Roles are simply a collection of rights. So as I look down through the various roles that we have, I will simply select one that works for this user. Hierarchy authorization is used to determine which divisions or regions or properties or sites a user is able to view and or edit. Possibly they have access to all or possibly only a specific site. Again, I'll select the appropriate selection there. Ownership group is a set of per feature permissions that determine whether a user is able to view, edit, or delete items that they are the owner of, as well as to possibly view, edit, or delete items owned by others. So again, I'm selecting the appropriate ownership group from the drop-down list. Finally, we have the Must Change Password checkbox. If checked, once the user logs in for the first time with their email address as the username and their email address as the password, it will then prompt them to change their password to something that they will remember. We've entered all of the information for our new user. We'll simply click Save, and this new user has been added. Thanks for watching.